everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout and I'm going to scrapbook this photo of um, M number two and he was standing in this thing. I don't know exactly what that is in it anyway. It might be, I don't know, a sleeping bag. I don't know, whatever it is, he's standing in that green thing and he's telling everybody that he's a flying squirrel. Now I was not there that day, so I don't know exactly um, what it is, but anyway, super cute that he was using his imagination. So I backed that photo on that bright orange paper from Chamel's Never Grow Up. It's the Spring Awakening paper because my background here is that jungle leaf paper, which is super busy, and I really wanted to pop the photo. So that leaf paper is Chamel Field Trip from the 12 by 12 pad. And then I've got that green paper there that now I'm putting all those die cuts on. And the die cuts are from Chamel's Never Grow Up, the ephemera. So there happened to be one that said, I love trees, which I thought was cute because he was pretending to be a flying squirrel. And I'm just adding leaves here. There's a tag to journal. Um, and I've got just a couple of other sort of nature-y inspired things is what I'm doing here. That green paper, by the way, way is again from Chamel Never Grow Up and it's the Spring Friends paper. So just trying to, because the background is so leafy, I wanted to get a leafy feel in the front to, you know, to bring that forward a little bit. And that's what I'm doing here. There was a flower on that tag, which didn't really fit. So I just hid it behind the photo there. And I think that worked really well. I am inking everything here with my Memento Dewdrop ink in gray flannel to sort of just bring everything together. And I mean, this layout could be, could have been a disaster because there is, that paper is, background paper is so busy. But I think in the end, because of the way I use the orange, it really still continues to focus your eye into the photo. And that's what, in this case, that's what I want um, because I'm scrapping the photo, which starts the story. You know, I've, the, 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 the story is the most important here, but the photo is so darn cute and it starts the story. So then they'll, you know, they'll be able to say, oh yeah, I remember when you did that. And I've seen them do that before when I drop off the books and they start looking, they're like, oh, I forgot about that. And I usually drop, I'm usually done with the book the year after all the events have happened. So, you know, when you have four kids and people are running around, it's kind of crazy how fast you can forget things, right? So I, I just love, and they love the, they love their books. So their scrapbooks. All right, so now I have the leaves down there. I want a little more orange here. I want more orange because I want to really pop that orange color if I can, again, just so your eye goes, oh, there's something different over here and it kind of draws your eye to that photo versus a lot of green, a lot of background, that kind of thing. And I think that does actually a really nice job. There is this bird here, and that again is from the Never Grow Up Ephemera. And just because, you know, trees, birds, that kind of thing. So I'm going to add that in. And that's more, now that's more green. So there is an orange feather up there, but I wasn't loving that feather. So then I found some birds. So I have that cardinal again bringing some orangey red because that that orange is very red and then another bird there as well next to the big bird I have that um chipboard hello that that navy hello just to bring some dimension into the layout that is from Ellie's um studio the chipboard circle stickers which were new this year and then there's another one with fave on it that I'm just going to add up there to take up some of that space that there's a lot of space in that top right hand of that mat there kind of toying with is there another um chipboard piece that i can put up there and i find one that says rad and that one is more in um an aqua color there is aqua in those leaves in the back and also in the tank so that works as well too they didn't have another um blue one that i felt navy one that i felt worked really well so it's kind of clustered up there but that's okay there's a lot going on at that top, top cluster so then i'm using this 
um, Puffy Alpha from Ellie Studio, and it definitely it's red, but it's a very orangey red. So that's going to work perfectly here on this layout. And again, we'll just get this get this up. I am going to end up having to MacGyver a few things here, and as I'm looking at this, I'm going to need to. These puffy alphas, I think, from Ellie Studio are not sticking as well as I would like them to. I think they're getting a little bit older, some of them, but even still, I, I find that the letters, even on the newer ones, shift quite a bit. So I end up a lot of times um, using my uh, Scotch tacky glue and just gluing them down, which is what I'll do when I'm finished with the voiceover. So I don't have, um, I don't have R's. So I'm going to have to MacGyver R's out of P's and a, an X or a K. I don't remember what I used, but I cut off pieces. So there we go. So there's Flying Squirrel. Just getting that down. And I think I didn't had, didn't have the other leg of the R's there or am I doing the R anyway <laughs> get getting the legs of the R's in okay oh. <laughs> these were hard because they're so tiny I don't love it when I have to make R's with this particular letter I love these puffy alphas from Ellie's studio but oh my goodness they're not fun to MacGyver Even using my um, little tweezers there, it's still pretty hard. Okay. All right, you guys. So the layout is done. Hope you guys are all well. And oh, forgot one thing. I almost forgot. I had to add, I had to have twine, add twine to the tag. So that twine is in that ready orange again as well. And that is from my mind's eye lime twist. It's the fly a kite sore twine, which is very old. So I, I don't think that's available anymore, anywhere. All right, you guys, there is the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.